absolutely spectacular. From the Charlotte Rush Coach's Office here at the Extreme Ice Center in Indian Trail, North Carolina, I'm Tim Donnelly. It is our video Wednesday, and it's a playoff preview as the Charlotte Rush open up the 2018 United States Hockey League Elite and Premier Playoffs this weekend here at home as they uh, will uh, head to the Southeast Division Playoffs, hopefully getting the wins there and then on to Boston for the national championships. We have a lot to talk about, and to do that, let's bring in the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite, Trevor Jewell. Trevor, exciting times right now. You finished the regular season with a record of 39-5-0. You got first place in the Southeast Division. The last time we talked to you, uh, you were telling me there's going to be some team building activities. We had almost two weeks in between uh, our last regular season game and uh, our first playoff game, and you said you had some team building activities planned. Tell us about those and how they went. Yeah, well, uh, first off, you know, we uh, were first overall in the league, so uh, we needed the Islanders to drop a game, and they did. Oh, so okay, the Elite did win the regular season title and, and the Southeastern Division title. So uh, very proud of them for that, and it's a huge accomplishment, you know, taking a step up of where we were last year. Um, but, you know, outside of that, the last, you know, week or so, week and a half, you know, we, we've done a lot together. We did some things this weekend. I know we went to the Checkers game together, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, we, we were going to go bowling and stuff like that, but, you know, we wanted to let the guys get a little rest, too. Mm -hmm. So mainly it's been a lot of maintenance type stuff in the past week and a half so guys can get healthy. And then anybody that may have, may have had a nagging injury had mm -hmm. some time to, you know, go see, uh, get some therapy and things like that to get healed up for playoffs. So we're back at 100% and we're pretty good and we're pretty happy about that. So um, it's been a good uh, past week and a half or so, and, and I think uh, the guys are prepared and, and they've shown it in practice and their uh, attention to detail and things like that throughout the rink and in practice has been very good so very happy with where we're at right now. Uh, Trevor I know that in the last time we talked to you we got a quirky quirk in the schedule with an extra week in between our last regular season games and playoffs and I know you had said you weren't really a big fan of that as a coach uh, with that unfortunate uh, situation though any concerns about the extra week off moving into the playoffs this weekend? Um, not a ton of concerns. I think I'm more focused on our starts right away, especially having a week off. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like sometimes we come out a little bit slow, so I want to eliminate that. But other than that, I mean, I know, our, I know what our game plan is. The guys know what our game plan is, and if we just stick to rush hockey, we'll be just fine. It's our Charlotte Rush playoff preview today on this Wednesday, February 21st. Charlotte Rush uh, opening up Friday here at the Extreme Ice Center. They'll kick it off at 10-15 against the Carolina Eagles. We're going to preview that game. The Rush will also play Saturday at 12-30, and we'll talk about that as well. Trevor, you had mentioned to us, too, the last time we talked uh, on our video uh, post game uh, after the Atlanta series that we've got 24, 25 guys. You can only dress 21. Uh, we're not going to talk about who might dress and who won't but just talk about the competition and the practices I'm sure it hasn't been just ordinary practices some of those guys really want to be on that 21 man roster so talk about that and also when you're going to make the decision on who the final 21 are going to be well, I mean, the competition has been phenomenal. I mean, guys really battling because guys want to play in those playoff games mm -hmm. and play in key situations and things like that. So, I mean, the onus is really on them to perform each day and, and come to come to practice ready to go and ready to work. So it's been a very good, you know, past week and a half, like I said, when it, when it comes to practice and things like that. Competition and battle has been, been great and, and exceptional. So, um, you know, the decision is usually made the day before a game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really... It's based on you know a week's performance and practice, and it's it's what you do with your body of work throughout that week, and whether it determines whether or not you're in the lineup. So, you know, obviously there's going to be some guys that are upset that aren't in the lineup, but you know, at the end of the day, they they know that the the you know the onus is put on them for them to be able to be in the lineup and things like that. It's a, it's I'm going to play the guys that are working and the guys mm -hmm. that are doing the things and getting things done, and and that's how things work. That's how the rush operate. And if if you're not getting it done during the week, then you're not going to play on the weekend. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really up to them and, and to solidifying a spot and things like that. So um, you know the decisions are hard, and and I love it when they make my job hard. Well, I love it and hate it, but <laughs> at the same time, you know. It, it's a tough thing to do because you know you're dealing with kids, you're dealing with with players that have emotions and feelings as well. So it's 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 not easy, but it's part of the job and it's part of what we do, and we have to put the best product on the ice, and that's that's who works and and does the things right during the week. Well, again, Charlotte Rush play in the Carolina Eagles this weekend. Trevor, there are in-state rivals. They did do well against them, though. Went 5-1 and one against them this year, but they did give you one loss, uh, although we outscored them pretty handily in the six games. But uh, from your perspective, what can we look for against the Carolina Eagles on Friday? 
Well, I mean, I you know, it, it's a new season, so that 5-1 record really doesn't mean anything mm-hmm. at this point. It's playoffs. Anybody can win at any on any given day, especially in this division. But, um, you know, it's a typical Carolina-Charlotte matchup. I mean, it's going to be a war. It's going to be a battle, and everybody's going to be fighting for every inch and every loose puck. So we got to make sure we're, we're on our toes and we're ready to go and prepared, and, and we have our game plan and we are prepared. But at the end of the day, it, it's up to the guys to go out and perform, and it's up to me to prepare them to be able to perform. And right now I think we've done a pretty good job of it this week. Trevor, as a player and as a coach, you know, as you said, I want you to expound on this a little bit, about the playoffs, and you're right. Once the playoffs start, it's a whole brand new season. We've seen many teams, no matter what league, from the National Hockey League, minors, juniors, whatever it is, we've seen teams that have been low seeds come out of nowhere and win. So you're right, it is going to be a battle, and you can kind of throw out those records. Talk about it from your experience over the years. I mean, my experience, I think the biggest takeaway I, I got, you know, in the postseason play is, was when I was in college. You know, we were the eighth seed going in, mm. and, and we somehow – or sixth seed, excuse me. And uh, we somehow made, made our way all the way to the conference championship, and, wow. and it was unexpected because we only won 10 games that year, but mm. we somehow snuck in. And, you know, all it takes is, is effort. It's, it's really who's going to put the most effort forward and who wants it more. Um, you know, you find out really who has more men on their team and who and the men – Who's going to become a man and who's going to stay a boy? I mean, that's that's really what's what happens, and that's what playoffs are all about. It's you know who's going to man up and block that shot or take that hit or, or you know go into the corner, win that battle, do things like that. I mean, it's, it's literally a game of inches, almost like football sometimes, because you're fighting for every inch of the ice, you're fighting for every loose puck, you're fighting for you know that positioning in front of the net mm-hmm. on the power play and things like that, and you got to stay out of the box. I mean, playoffs are a whole different animal. I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. it's a war, so. We we got to be prepared, and I know our guys will be. But at the end of the day, it's I know Carolina is going to come in, and they want to beat us just as bad as we want to beat mm-hmm. them. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of fun, but it's going to be a war. Well said by Trevor Jewell, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite, on our playoff preview here on this Wednesday, February 21st, from the coach's office of the Charlotte Rush at the Extreme Ice Center. Well, Trevor, speaking of challenges, speaking of having to make decisions, you got a couple of great goaltenders here at the elite level, and uh, uh, talk about what your goaltending plans will be this weekend. You know, I'm not entirely sure. It's really up to them again. It's the same way. Whoever's battling in, battling hard during the week is going to get to start on, on Friday. So um, it's really up to them. And, and like I said, it's it's the performance-based industry, and you got to perform in order to play on the weekend. So, um, you know, obviously we have two very good goaltenders that, that can win a game mm-hmm. for us on any given night. So the competition between them is very good, and I'm very proud of with where, with where they're at right now. And I think they, they're only going to get better throughout the playoffs. So very, very happy with where they're at. But, again, another tough decision I'll have to make. All right, so Trevor will huddle with the uh, assistant coaches, and that probably is going to be a decision I guess will be made on Thursday. Well, Trevor, these are the best of times for the Charlotte Rush. Great regular season, but a second season now begins. We wish you and the Charlotte Rush elite nothing but the best heading into these uh, Southeast Division playoffs. And also, congrats on winning the entire league championship for the Elite League as well. Thanks a lot, Tim. All right, Trevor Jewell, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite. Again, the Charlotte Rush Elite will take on Carolina this Friday here at the Extreme Ice Center at 10.15 in the morning. We hope that all the fans locally will come out and cheer off the Rush. Hey, you got a half a day or a day off. Take that. Come on out and watch the Rush play on Friday. If you can, of course, we'll have it for you on Hockey TV. And again, don't forget on Saturday, the Rush will play at uh, 1230. Both of those games on the Rush training rink here at the Extreme Ice Center. Well, again, thanks to Trevor Jewell for the thoughts and observations. Also to Andrew Scollard, our cameraman from the Carolina School of Broadcasting. And I'm Tim Donnelly, voice of the Charlotte Rush. Thanks so much for watching.